Hello and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to teach online lessons using Skype as your video conferencing software. So if you're an in-person teacher, whether that's teaching in a classroom or running your own tutorials, please watch one of our later videos. Um, off to class runs with any video conferencing software. So what that means is you're going to be using two applications for your online lessons. You and your students are going to be logged into off to class to interact with the lesson content, but you're going to also be using Skype to see and speak to your student during the live lesson. So I'm going to show you how to set this up. I'm going to launch a lesson. So today I'm going to teach my student a conditionals lesson. So I launched the lesson and I enroll my student. I'm teaching Jose today. So I've launched the classroom and I can see down here that Jose is properly enrolled in the lesson. When I open up the classroom chat, I can see that Jose has not joined the classroom yet. So I'm just going to come over to Jose's side of off to class so you can see what it looks like from his perspective. So Jose is logged into off to class. He knows we have a lesson today and he presses this join lesson button. And when he presses that button, because I've enrolled him in the class, he gets taken in to the lesson, my conditionals lesson. And I'm just going to come back to my side of off to class. And because Jose's joined the lesson, the classroom chat pops open to tell me that Jose has arrived for class. So now it's time to start my Skype call with Jose. So I've already got Skype on my computer and I've added my student as a contact. So I'm going to start the video call. Now give me a second here just to accept the call um, from my side and quickly mute the sound. There we go. Oops. Start the video. And I'll just show you, there's only one other step you need to make. So I'm in my Skype call with my student. There's only one other step you need to make to um, start your lesson. You need to minimize the Skype window. And because I'm on a Mac machine, I use this yellow button to minimize the window. And on a Windows machine, it would look like an underscore button. So I press that. And now you can see that the Skype window is nice and small and properly minimized and it sits nicely on top of off to class. So I'm going to place it up here. And if my student was actually, if this was actually a live video call, I'd be able to see my student and I'm going to now get, get into the lesson. So as I move through the slides, obviously these slides are syncing on the student side and we can actually interact over the content. So what that means is, I can actually direct my student to type into the lesson. So for example, on this slide, I could ask my student Jose to answer number four. And when I come back to Jose's side of off to class, if we went by plane, it would be so much faster. So Jose can type into any of the content. And when I come back to the teacher side, I can see how Jose has um, edited the content. Now I can right click on any of these edits and undo the text edit. So that is take the content back to its default state. And also when I right click on any other word, I can bring up this menu of all these interactive um, adaptive features that I can control as a teacher when I'm teaching the lesson to adapt the content for my student. So I can play a text to audio. I could Google translate this word into my student's native language. I could run an image search and I could bring up a dictionary. Now the next thing I wanted to show you as far as the content goes is you also have something called drawing mode. So for example, if I got to this slide, I can enable the pen for my student by clicking the pen up here in the top right corner. And when I click the pen, that enables the pen for both myself and the student. And I could direct um, my student Jose, I'm back on the student side of off to class, 
to um, to interact with the content, perhaps um, answer one of these examples verbally, and then if I come back to the teacher side of Opt Class, I can see all of the students' edits, uh, sorry, the students' annotations with the pen, and I can add to them or I can erase the pen as well. So there's quite a lot of adaptive capability by both using the editing, the typing feature, and by using the pen during your lesson. So that's it for today, and I'll see you in the next video.